replace the moon with Mars. That's the entire experiment. And the results are nothing like a normal Earth-Moon system. First, scale check Earth, the moon, and Mars beside them, just to show how oversized Mars is for this orbit. Now the swap. Mars is placed at the moon's distance, about 380,000 kilometers from Earth, a position far too close for a full-sized planet. Instantly, tidal forces hit it, zoom in, and the surface starts to brighten. That whitening is heat. The crust is flexing, cracking, and warming from extreme gravitational stress. Temperature rises fast. The poles destabilize. Internal heat flow spikes. And then something odd shows up in the simulation. Mars becomes more Earth-like. Not because it turns habitable, but because the model detects increased internal activity, moderate surface temperatures, and stabilized orbital parameters. It's a numerical effect, but a fascinating one. Let the simulation run longer, and Mars keeps deforming. Surface fractures grow, heat continues to build, and its thin atmosphere starts to escape. A planet this close never remains stable. It just tears itself apart more slowly than a moon would. But 